Okay. Torch is working just well enough that I can't see anything because of the light. <laughs> so, it's burning really nice. Actually, the trick is you hold it up and out in front like this. And yeah, y'all still can't see anything. I tell you what, I'm gonna get to the shelter because there are game trails and stuff. I don't like, I hate it when people play up the danger and stuff. This is the country though. There really are like big cats and stuff. They do come down the same game trails. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna get us to the shelter and then I'll start recording. Yeah. Walk with me a little ways, I guess, you know. So cool. It is really very southeast Alaska weather right now. This is kind of how the winters are there. It's funny, the torch lights up a lot further ahead than it looks. It's just being that it's all open out there, it still looks like blackness. See? We're at the staging area where I keep the poles. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Definitely pretty cool. And I think y'all guys can see a lot more in here actually. What I'm thinking about doing is maybe starting a fire for more light. I'll pull back the tarp there and then uh, I might just go ahead and put y'all guys on time lapse and keep chiseling out the actual foundation area. Might be a lot of fun, and then I'll head back home in about an hour. It gives me something to do, some mobility. Uh, yeah, that sounds like fun. There's something else I thought of, but I can't, on my walk up, I cannot for the life of me remember what the heck it was though. This is really neat, especially with the torch. It feels so safe in here. Okay, I'm liking it. Are you liking it? It's not bad so far. It's hard to tell. I just keep moving dirt, really. I fear everything I do right now, I won't have to do tomorrow. And so 
I've chipped out the sides pretty well down here. And I think this is probably to the right depth. Tomorrow, I'll focus on cutting out the rest of the, the area for the fireplace here. And then this quarter of the shelter over here has to be brought down to this level. That dirt, though, needs to be thrown out behind you so that it builds up a berm on that side. I'm trying to concentrate, and the dirt that I take out from one spot, use it for the berm for that wall, basically. And I'll probably just maybe piddle around a little bit more. I hope it looks cool in time lapse. I hope y'all guys can see anything. It's really neat out here for me because up inside this sagebrush, it feels kind of like being a bunny rabbit out here or something. And this is like my den. It's very safe feeling, very warm actually, as long as I keep moving. Once I get a little bit more dirt done, I'll probably call it. Go edit this video together. I want to do a recovery video. This one I think I'm going to do about confidence. And then try and try to turn in early tonight so I can get up tomorrow and have as much sunlight as possible. Some rocks falling out of there. Uh, today was good. I've got Tuesday. I've got the appointment to find out about the nerve damage with the results from my MRI. Uh, I talked to a really nice lady on the phone. She was so good at her job, so very cool. She directed me. It was a lot of hubbub, but she got me there, and that was really cool. Uh, another guy I'm working with on a project for the state, I, I first time I've talked to him, and he was just killing it. I even told him, uh, dude, you are doing such a good job. Just a really helpful individual. I think it's important, too, when we find people who are really putting in the time and energy to do the job well and be there, I always tell them, you know, you have done such a good job. Thank you so much. It helps reinforce that, you know. Plus, it's always good to hear that we've done a good job. I'm liking this, speaking of good jobs. I really, I think tomorrow... Even if I'm super tired, I might try and get up at like 6 or 7 in the morning. I haven't been getting to sleep early. And in winter mode, that's okay. I kind of like staying up late during the winter. However, when I have something that needs to be done, it's nice to have those daylight hours. So I might need to just get up tomorrow, get out here with some daylight, and we can put this stove area together. Once that's done and we can get an actual fire in here, I think that y'all will be able to see relatively well. All right, I'm going to keep picking and we'll head on back home. Okay, friends, so it's the next day. I believe that makes it the 7th. And I got up a little bit earlier today. Got most of my stuff taken care of. And now, oh, I'm headed up to the shelter here. Fear we've got enough daylight that we might actually get some stuff done. Want to be sure as we're building the uh, fireplace that we use mainly the shale rock friend of mine reminded me and i had already thought of it but still it's good to keep it in the fore part of our brain that there are rocks that when you if you heat them too much they'll explode normally they're round very dense rocks kind of resembling river rock so we want to be sure to use mainly shale i'm not sure see i've been going to use these guys probably for like a chair sign in here anyway now this here, this is shale. That should be safe, I think. Plus, it's not going to get super hot, so we ought to be all right. All right, it's looking pretty good in here. It'll be better once it's closed up and warm. My Dr. Pepper can. Okay. Get the stuff up here. And... 
can't really see. It still needs to be flattened quite a bit. And then I'll start hauling in some rock. So yeah, first thing I'm gonna do is finish flattening this out. And then I'll start hauling rock, I think. Cool. Uh, <laughs> All right, I had to charge the battery. It ran out right in mid-sentence while I was saying if I have enough battery. So helped the gentleman I work for uh, with his pickup truck down here. He went out to visit a friend. I'm back up here again, and I got your battery charged. What I'm doing, I'm hauling in this shale from the quarry up here. I'm trying to get the larger chunks. I talked to the gentleman I work for and he said that the shale will be perfectly fine for building a uh, fireplace, basically. It won't react to heat. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, what I really like right now, what I have going on, I'm finding these larger brick-like pieces. Shale breaks off flat, very flat, like, this is a bad demonstration, but you see the flat side here and the semi-flat side here. Lots of times you can find a chunk that's almost brick-like. So I'm trying to find as many good pieces as I can for the foundation, the first ring around the fire. Then we're going to use the smaller pieces of shale and dirt to build up the walls. Hopefully we still have enough daylight. I'm moving really slow, actually, still which is something I have to kind of watch myself on. I have the desire to get a little bit intense and do the work a little faster. So I have to keep slowing myself down kind of. All right, I'm just gonna haul in a bunch of this. I don't think it's gonna be very interesting for y'all to watch anyway. So I'm just gonna stack up a bunch of material down by the shelter and then we'll actually start building. Right now I'm trying to get this corner dug in before I start the fire. I want to get two pieces of rock behind it so that that's going to be the back of the stove. And I'm losing light so I better start moving fast. I've got a couple of good pieces of flat stone right here. Thinking, hmm, maybe just start with something, anything. To see what's gonna happen. And see, that's not bad. And the fire would be in front of it, and then I build up the rock behind it. Hmm. Or just use the dirt for the back, which is how I originally had it planned. Hmm. I kind of like the dirt back. I just, I'm not sure. I want them to be kind of the same diameter. Let's 
See, I can just build it up like that. Well, let's just go with this and then concentrate on building the front. So I'm gonna get a fire started so that we have more light and try and get something done here. I cannot believe how fast the daylight hours leave us this time of year. I can adapt to it, just need to get there. I got up way earlier today, which was nice. I got up at like 8.30. Still though, I wasn't out the door till 10. I've got phone calls and stuff I gotta make too. So it just ate up a lot of my day, which I'm burning more daylight right now. All right, I'm gonna get to this. I'm liking it though. It doesn't take up too much room, I don't think. I think continuing with the stone back at least to the top of the dirt might be good. If it works out well enough, I might could get an actual rock chimney coming out of this thing. We'll just see how it goes. I gotta get a fire started first. I have to be really careful when throwing them because they'll break real easy. It's actually not a bad thing, I don't think, uh, because then I can break them into pieces if I need, kind of like bricks. These bigger rocks here are the ones that came out of the ground. I'm gonna use them in different places, like building up the berm around the side. See, I have a pretty good, it's about, at least nine inches, maybe a foot in places, berm built all the way around to help divert the water and stuff. Still gotta do a retaining wall in here. Because I haven't dug down too far, I don't have that bad of an issue with the berms caving in or the edges caving in on me. I'm gonna keep hauling here. This wood here is very, very wet. I even have an accelerant I'm using. Might take a few minutes for this to start. I'm thinking about going ahead. I've got my rocks positioned up here, over here. I started with these two already. I think I like the distance here and they're nice and flat. This one snugs underneath the other one nicely. So what I'm gonna do Let's cut this out a little bit more here. I think I want the other wall to, to meet right about here is what I'm thinking. So it comes around and that's pretty much large enough. As you can tell, I've painted myself in a corner with the door. So I want to leave enough room between the fire and what's going to be the bed over here to kind of have a couple stairs to go out there is what I'm thinking. Maybe even dig down the walkway a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna start stacking bricks. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can break these chunks because this shale breaks pretty easily. So I want the flatness of the brick, but not this peak sticking out. So I'm gonna see if I can just give it a gentle tap. Ha ha. Okay, I think I'm gonna like this. It broke down the center as well, but that's okay. It still has a good brick shape to it. Got that peak off. This is what I wanted right here anyway.
I use a little bit of dirt between each layer of bricks, almost like a mortar, just to fill in the spaces. I always remember when doing this, I turn my head every time it hits. That way if anything bounces off, it won't hit me in the face. Well, friends, I don't know if you can say anything. It's dark. I put the fire out. The fire was going really well, and while it had heat, while the flames were still burning, it was it was doing what I was supposed to do. All the smoke was going out. Once I put it out and it started smoldering, though, the place filled up with smoke. Going to have to figure out what to do about it to get it to work right. Now, this is all trial and error, you know, so we're learning this together. All right, I'm going to call this good for this video. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to devote more time to the actual project. It'd be cool to get it covered up and get moved in in the next couple days or so. Or at least spend a couple nights in it, you know? All right, hope y'all guys have enjoyed the adventure. Never give up. Never surrender.